Hi, fifth grade. We're going to finish up the last couple of worksheets. Uh, I'm on uh, worksheet number 16, which um, you have for this week, and this is about abbreviations. I will be including on the uh, email that I send to you to put the link to the video, I will have the abbreviations that are found in the back of your English book um, because you don't have the English book, so I will have those in there for uh, in the email. You can print those out or just look at them on the email uh, to help you as you complete this worksheet. We're just going to talk briefly about abbreviations because you need to watch the teacher tools online video and she will explain it to you. But on this worksheet, you are going to write the correct abbreviations for the underlined words up here. So you've got abbreviations for months, uh, the, the months of the year. Uh, all the months of the year have an abbreviation except for May, June, and July, and those are short words anyway, so they don't have an abbreviation. There are also abbreviations for times, like AM is morning, PM is afternoon or night, BC is before Christ, uh, MIN is for minute, or MINS is for minutes, SEC for second, or SECS for seconds, and HR for hour, or HRS for minutes. Uh, we have metric measurements, uh, like M for meters, CM for centimeters, but I'm going to put all of this in there. I'm just going to, I'm just talking about it briefly with you. Um, so it will be in there. You need to, you will need to check the e email to have your chart. Uh, it's just like the one that's in the back of the book or that's in your workbook page uh, that we've already completed, so you don't have that. And then down at the bottom section of this, uh, you have uh, to circle which abbreviation is the right one and the little notice down there. So that shouldn't take too long. That that worksheet should pretty be, uh, be pretty easy to do, as well as uh, worksheet uh, number 17, which is identifying singular and plural nouns. Uh, in, the, in, in the top section, one through seven, they have underlined nouns in each sentence. You just have to decide if it's singular or plural. Um, singular, obviously, is easy. That's one of something. Plural is more than one of something. There are some plural rules that I want to briefly go over. Um, get this turned where you can see it. Back here are some plural rules that we've talked about before, and we're going to talk about them briefly again. To make a word plural, um, some, some nouns we make plural by adding an S, but there are some exceptions to those rules. If words, if a noun ends in an S or an SH or a CH or an X or a Z, then you add an ES to the end of the word, like in the word fax. It ends in an X, so it would be faxes. The word fox would be foxes. The word buzz, that's not a, a noun, that's a verb, but it would be buzzes with an ES because it ends in a Z. Uh, a word like church ends in CH. So to make it plural, more than one church would be churches with an ES on the end. Um, she will go over all of that with you uh, on the teacher tools um, video so you can watch that. There are also some other uh, plural rules that we need to remember. Some uh, rule, some words are made plural by changing different letters, not just adding S. The word man becomes men or woman becomes women. We change the A's to E's. The plural of child is not child's but children. Foot become feet and tooth becomes teeth. Those O's become E's. Uh, and then we have words like mouse, which changes to a totally different word, mice. And we have words that end in F. The, L, the F becomes a V, and you add ES, like half becomes halves, calf becomes calves, things like that. And then there is the rules for words that end in Y. Words that end in a consonant and a Y, you change the Y to I and add ES. If the word ends in a vowel and a Y, like toy, would become toys, you just add an S to the end. You don't change the Y to I because we never have three vowels together. Uh, and then some words don't change to become plural. We've talked about those before. The word sheep 
one sheep or ten sheep. Um, deer, one deer or ten deer. Uh, moose, mm -hmm. one moose or ten moose. Some words stay the same. So uh, for your worksheet for page uh, 17, uh, the first section, you'll take the underline. We'll do number one together. Jesus saw a blind man while he was sitting with his disciples. So the word man, is that singular or plural? Well, there's one man, so that would have an S written over the top. Uh, and disciples has an S on the end. That means more than one, so that would have a P over the top. You'll go through all of those and put S or P, depending whether they're singular or plural. It's really, really easy stuff for you guys. Um, in the next section, you're going to underline the collect correct plural form of the noun in each sentence. Number eight says there are two cake mixes in the cupboard. The word mix ends in an X, so we just learned that we put an ES on the end, so you're going to choose the one that is spelled correctly with an ES there. You'll do that all the way down through 14, and in the very bottom is a paragraph that you're going to complete by changing all of those singular nouns that they have in parentheses under the blanks, and on the blank you're going to write it in the correct plural form. Remember, S's or ES's or Y's to I's and adding ES's. Uh, don't forget all of the rules, and the rules, like I said, you can view again uh, by checking out the Teacher Tools online video for Chapter 3, Part A, Lesson 24. Um, so that will be all that uh, the, these two worksheets are covering, the abbreviations and the singular and plural nouns, though, but those both should be pretty easy. If you've already worked on them, go back and check and make sure that you have completed everything. Check your work. Make sure your name is on all of your worksheets because if they get pulled apart or separated, I won't know it's yours if your name is not on it. And um, <coughs> excuse me, and make sure you're turning in all your work. Um, if you don't, if you do have questions, you can uh, email me, text me, call me. Uh, I'll include that information in the email I'm putting with this, as well as the links to all the videos. And like I said, there will be the uh, abbreviation lists added to that. So if you need to use that for uh, worksheet number 16, you'll have it. You guys. Uh, know that I miss you very much. Uh, I hate that we're not together. Um, I wish that we could be back in class together again. Next time I see you guys, you'll be big sixth graders up in the middle school. Uh, and that makes me sad, but I'm happy that you're going to pass school. So <laughs> that's a good thing. So you guys have a great weekend and get reach out to me if you need it, if you have any questions. Love you guys. Bye-bye.